There are multiple ways to get information into your program from a file and different things that you can do with it once it's there. So looking at this very simple sample program, we're going to declare input as an object. It's a variable that's opening authors.txt in read mode. So we're not making any changes to the file. We're not adding anything to it. We're just reading it. And then we can have authors equals input.read. And that should have parentheses because it's a method. Again, that's a specific function for an object. And then we do input.close. If we were to add a line here where we printed authors, it would print the entire contents of the file one after the each other because if you're thinking of the last one we did where we were writing to it, we ended each line with a new line symbol. So each one would print on a new line and whatever authors were put in there would be there. The other option is to read in one line at a time. And so you would open it in the same way. You would close it in the same way. The rest of the file would be the same, but we could get one line at a time. And I'm going to call that a record because it's sort of acting as a database. And so we would do input dot read line. And we don't need to pass anything to that. And so we could do record two equals input dot read line. And we could keep doing that as many times as we want. That would make a more it would make more sense to do a while statement or a loop that would go until the record ends and that when we're done, we'd have to close the file. Since we put them out with a new line at the end of the record, we might want to do things where we're stripping off that new line. And we can do that once we've created it. So we have record one equals input line. We can strip it by doing making it equal to itself record one equals record one dot R strip, which means we're stripping to the right slash n. This is how you would remove that new line. And then if we were to print them, they would go one after the other. If you're bringing in numeric data, you may have to strip it because it's coming in as a string. And then you would also have to convert it to a float or an integer, just like we do when we're reading in from keyboard input. The more efficient way to do this is to read using a loop. When we don't know how long that is going to be, So we have here, we're going to do, we're going to input our first record, which is considered to be a priming read, sort of like priming the pump. We're going to see what's there. And it is possible that you have an empty file. So when we're going to do it in a loop, we're going to do a while And so this would not be record one. It would just be record. So we would do while record not equal, and that's just single quotes, so no value. So that's checking to see if we've hit the end of the file. We can have our whatever we're reading in. We could, so here we could use the record. We could strip it, whatever. So we could um, print it, strip it, do whatever we need to do to it, add it. So we're going to just say print record. And then we want to read in the next line so that it's not an endless loop and this will change. We want record to again equal 
input dot read line. And this is the most common way you're going to work with files, is where you're reading in one at a time, doing stuff with each record, possibly saving them, making changes to them, converting them to an int, taking the new line escape sequence off the end. But this is the process we will generally use with working with file input.